It's late March 2020, and we are locked down at our homes because of the coronavirus. I'm going to read two of my translations from this edition by Reina Maria Rodriguez, published by Ugly Duckling Press. And before I start, I'd like to say that Reina, who is currently locked down in Florida, recently received the news that her mother passed. And you can see in the design that the press created an image of her mother on the back. And then this is Reina as a child on the front. The first poem is called The One Who's Diving, 1978. The young woman is Lily Brick, Mayakovsky's comrade and Elsa T's sister diving into the pool with blue and green waters, and that's me, between other stories about friends. There, too, are my parents in the little boat, Victor, victorious over the ocean enclosed in a fishbowl. The one who's diving is someone else, too, who has never written a poem, who has no hierarchy other than the desire inscribed in his brow, frowning about not being anyone. The victor, that one who's diving, jumping over the quiet water with his glass of Bavaria light beer, ice cold in his fingers, time. A character who is always with us, signifying us to ourselves as we enter turbulence or emerge into peace after a mental war. Earth, water, fire, air, ether, discernment, and ego essence. Here I have the division of my nature, its instrument. The one who's diving, manipulating reality with his hidden camera, montage technique, makes an effort by his immersion to be convinced that he's coming back from there, from some unreal landscape, to encounter her again in that corridor of alcohol, where she stands stilled at the end, at the end of her life. Still between them and the others, while your image refracts and accelerates the collapse of the islands into the blue and green waters. The manipulation is so old, the one diving is the only innocent who, in his joy, doesn't recognize this experiment interrupted by the arrival of a wave. I think that when it happens to you, if it happens to you, you won't know it. The second poem is called A Pane of Glass in the Window and it started with a memory of another poet who was at her home. He melded glass shards collected from the sea into window panes. The color of amber behind the glass blurs my face, its falsity. Hold my figure, remake it, smash the miniature self, the one who coexisted with me. Not returning to her, escaping slowly into the border of each fragment arranged between your hands like another shard melded into the window pane.